Brains are expensive. The field of neuroecology explores how brains develop and evolve to match the challenges animals face. One compelling idea in this field is that living in societies places special pressures on animals. Dealing with social competitors and even forming alliances can require a lot of brain power. This idea, called the social brain hypothesis, is well supported for vertebrate animals ranging from fish through birds to mammals. Species with more complex social interactions tend to have larger brains or larger brain regions that process complex information. Many researchers suspect that the human brain is actually a product of social brain evolution. The way our brains work has a lot to do with the way we interact with each other, and our human brains may have evolved along with human societies. But social behavior is not unique to humans or even other vertebrates. In fact, insect societies are some of the largest and most sophisticated on Earth. So my lab set out to test for social brain patterns in social insects. And we chose wasps as subjects because related species of wasps range from solitary living through simple groups to some of the largest and most complex colonies we know of. Did insect brains increase as sociality evolve? Well, the answer was a resounding no. In fact, the opposite was true. We found that investment in key higher brain regions actually decreased, going from solitary to social species. So why are insects so different from vertebrates? We suspect the answer lies in how insect societies form. Most vertebrate societies are groups that include non-relatives, whereas most insect colonies are a single family of cooperating close relatives. Wasp colonies, for example, support the reproduction of one or a few mother queens, and colony members' interests are often tightly aligned. So if colony members can communicate and rely on each other, perhaps the need for individual brain power is decreased. It's as if the insects that cooperate in colonies have shared brain power. So even though individual wasps may be less brainy than solitary individuals, the colony as a whole may be smart together. We call this the distributed cognition idea. It's a sign that there's more than one way for complex societies and intelligence to evolve together. And if this finding holds true with other kinds of social insects, it could reshape our assumptions about the evolutionary connections between brains and behavior.